day after day, we are inundated with information about COVID-19, and sometimes it's easy to lose sight of the pain and suffering behind all those numbers. Today, I spoke with a woman from Etobicoke who tells me what it was like losing her uncle and her grandfather just days apart. My grandfather came from the hospital to the funeral home in, in a body bag that we could, we could not, so we never saw him again. The first wave came with a crushing blow to Rushma's family. First, her beloved uncle contracted COVID-19 in a New York City hospital where he was undergoing dialysis. He died in early April. Eleven days later, the same tragedy struck her 89-year-old grandfather who suddenly passed away here in Mississauga. Only a nurse was in there with him holding his hand while he died. That must have been really difficult. It was, it was, my, my grandparents raised me, so that was like my dad. Rushma shared these pictures of her lost loved ones and says Christmas was always a special time in her family, telling me her grandfather was lovingly known as the family Santa. Santa, every year he would dress up as our Santa and we would all sit on his lap and take pictures with him. This year, Christmas will be different, and Reshma is hoping yours will too. Instead of the usual big family gathering, her holiday will be full of virtual celebrations. And to honor her grandfather, a little Santa hat now sits on the box that holds his ashes. What do you want people to know about this virus and the toll it takes, it can take on families? I just want families to know that, you know, Stay, to, stay apart this year so we can all be together next year. So back in April, Rushma's family had two funerals in one week, something she doesn't want anyone else to experience. I asked her if she supported a wider lockdown. She said absolutely, if that's what it takes to keep people safe. In Mississauga, Shauna Hunt City News.